Okay, now I'd like to show you some really fun tips with all of our color pencils and how we use them to create some really fun patterns and interesting shading. And I'm really enjoying all of my color pencils. I think they're the most forgiving and the easiest to work with. And if I want a shape to look kind of rounded, one easy way is to simply do some shading that goes all the way around the outer edge. And this is, I kind of just do a crescent shape. And this is going to make my snowman look round. You can see I'm using the side of a sharp pencil to simply and quickly go all the way down with a nice crescent bit of shading. And then in the same way I might do just a little bit of coloring on this other edge and a little bit of blue on this side and it seems to just sort of set it off in a nice way. Do a little bit of that on the other edge. Okay, and then if while I'm using my blue, if I want things to really look three-dimensional, you'll find that if I do some shadowing, watch this. I'm just doing all the blues first, but I'm going to do a shadow underneath each of the shapes. There might be a shadow under the hat, and if I follow around all the coal and just do a quick little spot of blue, that's going to give me a real fun shadow. Next I'm going to do the carrot nose, and on this I'm going to use the white of my paper for some highlights. And if I color orange, you'll see I've left some white. That's going to be my highlight on the top edge. I do orange and then even come back in with red and give it a shadowed bit of color on the bottom edge. Now that's going to give me a really nice dimension and a flare of color. And then, let's see, I'm going to try something different on the hat. If I don't want it to be flat black, watch how I'm going to create sort of a, a highlight here with my blue. And I'm going to go right down the middle of the hat like a core shape. And by doing that underneath, when I come back with black on top, this is going to be my shadow. But instead of coloring everything in and having a flat hat, I'm now going to have a rather rounded looking hat. And I'm pressing harder just to get a more vivid color now with my black. And again, the white on this edge is giving me the highlight, which is going to give me more of an illusion of a rounded stovepipe hat. So that's all it takes to get a really interesting look. And then if I come back with red, again I'm going to press harder here and then just lighten my touch and darken it just a little bit on that outer edge and maybe add a little bit more color. And that again is going to give me a nice shiny red band. If I want a little bit more black on the coal, I can color it in. But if I leave a little bit of white, that's going to give a bit of sparkle. It might look like a bright sparkly eyes. So there it is. That kind of gives you the basic pieces. And then I'll show you where I've done some other scarves and hats. So here I've done a whole cluster of them. I'll move this over so you can see. Here was a whole matching set. And you can see it's really quite easy to do stripes. And I've sort of followed the curve of the scarf to make it interesting and intentionally offset the stripe so that the back scarf looked a little bit more natural than if I'd gone all the way across on the whole thing. But let me show you, I'll move this one over so you can see. Let's say I want to start from scratch and I want to create it, um, some dimension to it. If I press hard and shadow, you can see that that immediately pushes that back. And then if I color darker back here, Again, this, these are the elements that can be quick and easy, but give you a sense of depth to your coloring. And again, I can just lighten my touch as I move out, and then maybe I get darker again at this outer edge. And I can fill in a little bit more all the way around. But even the stroke and the direction of my coloring is going to enhance the shape of whatever it is that I'm coloring. So I'm following an interesting little curve. So now you can see some dimension to it. And then if I wanted polka dots, I can come back with a darker color and do that. Or in this case, if I wanted to do a plaid, let's just try following the curve of things here. Maybe I'll do three lines that way. And again, by curving it a little bit, your eye is going to fill in all of the unexplained parts of it but this gives you a very fun illusion. And here I'm going to offset my stripes again a little bit. And you can do that with one color, 
and or come back in with a second color and maybe just stripe it all the way down here and follow that pattern all the way around. Maybe it needs another stripe on this side to balance it out and there you have a nice little plaid. So I'll show you a couple other samples just to get your ideas going. Here you can see a lot of other kinds of little tartans and plaids. I've probably made up some new families there. And here's a lot of fun stripes. And if you want to do some shadowing on the red hat, you can also um, come back in and do some shading in a couple of places in here that will give it some dimensional look to it. I'll kind of darken around those edges. So anyway, those are just a couple of tips that will make your color pencil work look a lot more interesting.